Hello guys, I hope that you are having a great and productive time at home. I am going to explain a brief situation involving momentum and changing momentum. So the situation is this. We have a racket and we have a ball. The tennis racket is going to apply a force on the ball and the ball is going to move. So we want to know what impulse was applied to the ball by the racket. So the give the mass of the ball is 57 grams and we know that after the racket uh, applied the force it is going to be served at 45 meters per second. So velocity as we see here, velocity initial was zero, so momentum initial was zero, and a velocity final is going to be 45 meters per second. We know that momentum is defined as mass times velocity, and impulse is defined as the change in momentum. So impulse is momentum final minus momentum initial. We see from the equation that the impulse is mass times velocity final minus mass times velocity initial. Remember that it is important to convert from grams to kilograms because in physics we normally use the international unit system. So you see that mass times velocity final is going to be the mass times 45 meters per second minus the mass but the velocity initial was zero because the ball starts from rest. So that means that we're going to cross out that part and it's not going to count. It's zero, that part. And you see that if we multiply the mass times the velocity final, we're going to get the change in momentum. So for this case, it's going to be 2.565 kilograms times meter per second. And this is going to be the change in momentum for this case. So it's important to go from the definition of momentum, that momentum is mass times velocity, and that the impulse is defined as the change in momentum. From those principles, it's easier to analyze this kind of situations. I hope you enjoy this explanation, and I'm going to be uploading more uh, problems and from simple to more complex for you guys. I hope you have a great day and may God bless you. Bye.